everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, Maruko wastes money on Picture Story Show. Maruko, there's going to be a Picture Story Show in the park today. Yeah, cool. I'm there for sure. The starch syrup they sell at the show is delicious. Mmm, I really love buying starch syrup and milk crackers. I wonder why it tastes so amazing. <sighs> I want to work as a Picture Story person. That's my dream. One day, I will. I'm home. Can I have my allowance? Here, 30 yen. Can I have more? I'm going to the picture story show. Absolutely not. Mom, why are you so stingy? Because you made me. I'm just sick of you wasting your money on silly little things. 30 yen. I guess I could use the 150 yen in my piggy bank, but I really don't want to spend that. I wish the picture story show were free. Huh? I thought I just had 150 yen, but I have 230. What good luck? I've got 260 yen. I can afford to go nuts today. That ah she just shouted is a meaningless exclamation that came out because she was so excited. Hey, Maruko! Tama-chan! The picture story isn't here yet. Thank goodness. He doesn't hang around that long, so I was afraid I was going to miss him today. Maruko, how much money did you bring? I managed to get 260 yen. Whoa, that's a lot of money. I only brought 100. Well, you say that's a lot, but it's all the money that I have to my name. Uh, you're spending all your money on the picture story show? She's silly. Really silly. That's what Tama-chan was thinking. Thanks for waiting, kids. The picture story show will begin now. I'd like a starch syrup, please. Here's my 20 yen. Starch syrup, too, please. Sweets come later, kids. The picture story show's always first. Oh. Mobjaro, travel to the distant Devil Island. Right, that's where the story ends. One starch syrup, please, sir. Me too, please. All right, calm down. There's plenty here for everybody. Starch syrup and a rabbit cracker, please. Here, that'll be 30 yen. Hey, look, Tomatan, you can turn the starch syrup white by kneading and stretching it like this. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? It takes a lot of effort to turn the starch syrup white, but it tastes so delicious. It's turned white. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Starch syrup, what a delicious world this is! La, la. Uh, rats, I finished it already. That always makes me feel a bit sad. Let's go buy some more. I'm gonna buy as many as I can now. Huh? Really? In that case, I will too! Let's go, <laughs> Tama chan Give me all the starch syrup you have, please! Coming right up! That's how Maruko ended up spending a whole bunch of money at the Picture Story Show. You what? <laughs> you have at the Picture Story Show. If you're going to waste money like that, I'll never give you money again. <laughs> That's the most terrified I've seen her. 
I bet she's acting. Sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to waste my money. Really, you're right. I'm a fool. Yes, you are. I, I greedily filled my belly up with lots of starch syrup using the money that Mom and Dad worked so hard to earn for our whole family. I'm a bad girl. Maruko? Are you for real? Maruko, it's all right if you understand. <laughs> I'm playing Mom like a cheap fiddle. Shall I go a bit further? I'm too ashamed to look you in the eye, Mom. No, everything is forgiven. You mean that? You really mean that? You can forgive a wretch like me? Am I deserving of such compassion? I can't stay mad long. Nailed it. I love you, Mom! Come here. <sighs> so you mean I can continue getting pocket money, Mom? Of course you can, sweetheart. Just don't waste money again, all right? I did it. I can't believe you fell for that, Mom. Uh, Maruko is an expert at manipulating your emotions. You need to punish her by not giving her any pocket money, Mom. Otherwise, she's just going to spend it at the picture show again. Come on, sis. Don't you believe in the power of forgiveness and love for one's child? She gets her way every single time. Even though she gets scolded, she dances around her acts funny to get her way. It's so obvious that it's infuriating. So what's the problem with that? It's just my way, sis. Making an angry person crack a smile is how you make the world more peaceful. I'll tell you what the big problem is, kid. Having to watch you get away with things over and over again. Yeah, well, deal with it. Goodness, I think you might be right. I was almost fooled again by Maruko's emotional manipulation. You're not getting pocket money for a week. Think about how you wasted money. I was moments away from getting Mom to do just what I want, but then my sister just had to interfere. I must do something or I won't be able to go to the picture show tomorrow. My life's a black hole of misery. Oh, poor me. I have to do something. Huh? It's this month's ribbon. I think Fuyuta said she hadn't bought this month's issue yet. I'll sell it for 150 yen. It's sis, but who cares? <laughs> Well, she deserves what she gets for ruining my plan. If this plan works out, then my life with the picture story show will remain peaceful. <laughs> that would be the most wonderful thing. The next day. How's it going, Fuyuta? Huh? Oh, hey, Maruko, what's going on? Wanna buy this issue of ribbon? I can let you have it for 150 yen. 150? That's a great price, I'll take it. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad. Now I can buy snacks at the Picture Story Show. Tama-chan! Tama-chan! Wanna go to the Picture Story Show today? What? Go today? My goodness, Maruko. You really do love it, huh? I don't want you to worry about money. I've got it covered, okay? It's my treat, Tama-chan. Huh? Maruko always has money trouble. And now somehow she has plenty of money two days in a row? Oh, no. Is she caught up in something illegal? <laughs> Maruko! Say, can I ask you something, Maruko? Why are you able to be so generous with money? Well, you see... Actually, don't worry about it. Uh, Maruko, you've done something terrible. Please don't... Don't do something bad for the picture story show. Uh, what is a person supposed to do when they see their best friend degrading themselves by leading a life of crime for money? Mariko, I'm not coming with you today. Goodbye. Oh, come on, don't bail. It's gonna be fun. You always take care of me, so let me do it for once. All righty? Yeah, but... Back at home. Hey, where did I put this month's issue of ribbon? I'm sure it was around here. That's so strange. It's got to be here somewhere. Hey, Mom, have you seen this month's issue of Ribbon? No, I'm afraid I haven't. I don't understand it. I had it here yesterday. You look like you're really upset, sweetheart. Will you be in trouble if it's lost? Oh, no, everything's totally fine. No, not true. She's actually deeply troubled by what's happened. Here's why. Sakiko was thinking about sending a letter to a column in the magazine called Let the Writers of Ribbon Help You With Your Problems. So she placed a letter in the magazine. Dear Yukari Ichijo, please give me advice on my problem. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage to everybody that I know. My sister's smart about things she does. Meanwhile, I can't talk to the boy that I like because I'm clumsy and the words won't come out right. 
Madam Ichijo, please tell me what to do. Yours truly, Sachin. Uh, what do I do? What if anybody sees that letter? I'll never be able to show my face again! <sighs> Come on. Where did it go? It should be around here. That's so strange. Huh? My goodness, what if Maruko decided that she'd take it to school with her today? Ooh, your sister's having trouble talking to a boy. Well, it looks like Madam Ichijo's going to have a chance to give advice on this letter. Hey, look, the pen name is Sachin. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I pray to God or Buddha or any of the other deities, please help me get out of this situation! That's it for today, kids. Listen, thank you for today, Maruko. No need to thank me. You've done it plenty of times. See you later. <laughs> I'm home. I've been waiting. Huh? So, sis, do you know where this month's ribbon is? This month's ribbon, huh? Let me see. I can't recall seeing it, actually. You can't recall seeing it? You prepared to swear on your life? I, my life? Uh, what's wrong? And why does she have that crazy look in her eyes? I'm scared. Maruko's in danger. Is there anything I can do to help her out? <gasps> Good afternoon. Uh, Fuyuta, why is she here? I found the letter that your sister's problem was written on between the pages of this month's issue of Ribbon that I bought from you today for 150 yen. You see? She saw my letter. I'm busted for selling the magazine. I'll just sell it for 150 yen. Want to buy this issue of Ribbon? Both sisters crumpled to the ground for different reasons. But they share the same desperate feeling that their life is somehow over. In this episode, Swimming Pool Opening Day. Maruko? Huh? There's a children's cartoon special on television tomorrow. Seriously? They're showing cartoons like Maruma-chan and Ikyu-san. In that case, I should prepare some snacks like I'm watching cartoons in the cinema. Mom, can I have my allowance so I can watch TV tomorrow? What do you mean? You can watch TV at home for free, Maruko. I know that. I need money to buy snacks so I can watch the cartoon marathon that's playing. What do you need the money now for if it's playing tomorrow? Huh? And you've got other things to think about. The pool opens tomorrow, so you need to get your swimming suit out and go to bed early tonight. Good idea. Should I try on my swimming suit right now? Go on. You've grown, so it might fit a little tighter than last year. It's already swimming season. Time really flies, doesn't it? Eh, it feels like it was just the other day that we had the New Year's holiday. No wonder I've got so little money left over from New Year's gifts. Ay, whenever I wear this happy little shirt, it really does feel like summer is here. Oh, stop getting all nostalgic over summer, Maruko. It's more important that you go and try on your swimming suit. <laughs> Maruko! What are you doing? I said go to bed early, right? You saw that? Huh? Hey, don't forget to buy me that eye lotion, Mom. You know that I have to clean my eyes after swimming. There's no more in the medicine box? No way. That one's already opened. I have to have a new one. And it has to be child fee root, not the other stuff. That's what all the other kids have, Mom. You don't always have to copy the other kids, you know. No! My eyes get infected if I don't have child fee root, and you know it! No way! I buy a new one for you every single swimming season, and you never finish it off! Fine. Then will you at least replace this ratty old towel? You have a brand new one that you got as a returned gift for the wedding present, right? Why am I not surprised that you have a list of every single thing that's available in this house? You know I don't understand those big words, Mom. It's a little too late not to pretend like you're a naive first grader at this point. The next day. It's such a beautiful day today, huh? I can't wait for the swimming lesson. Me too, but it's still a little bit chilly. You think the water will be cold? I want to be able to swim 50 meters this year. <sighs> yeah, well, I'll be over the moon if I can manage to swim 25 meters this year. Right. Next is the swimming lesson. I'd like everyone to change clothes now. Once everybody has gotten changed, I'd like you all to gather at the swimming pool, okay? Yeah! Boy, I hate changing clothes in the classroom. There are boys here, too. Yeah, I wish we had a changing room. 
Just goes to show even third graders have their concerns. Hey, Botaro, keep your eyes pointed that way, okay? Whatever. No one wants the food. I don't have anything to be worried about. Everybody look at me. <laughs> no! It goes without saying, boys around this age are much more immature than girls. Why do boys behave like that? I have no idea. Even though they hate it, the scenes they watch through their fingers linger in their memory like a bad smell. <clears throat> Don't forget to take off your glasses, Tama chan huh? Yeah, I'd completely forgotten about them. Did you bring the eye lotion? Yep, Child V Root. Oh man, I'm jealous. I wish I had Child V Root. I'll let you use mine. It's really not a good idea to share your eye lotion with people you know. Uh, Listen, that's a good way to spread eye infection. I didn't recognize Maruo then. He looks surprisingly normal without his glasses, right? All right, everybody. I want everyone to gather up. Follow instructions of the gym duty persons for warm-up exercises. Yes! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't matter where you are, there's always one boy who falls in the pool while doing warm-ups. Hamaji, did you fall on purpose, Boo? Uh, what? Of course not. Hamazaki, why did you fall in the pool? Uh, I must have slipped, sir. Not true, Boo! Uh, Hamaji was messing around and fell, Boo! He was dancing and wriggling his body like it was some sort of yum cake, Boo! Don't do that again, hear me? That teacher's pretty scary, huh? Yeah, I'm really glad he's not our class teacher. Right, I want everyone to take a shower by class and dip in the antiseptic solution too. <laughs> it seems like some of the kids get all spiritually enlightened when they take a shower. Sanitize, sanitize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free. Uh, it feels extremely cold after taking a shower. Surely it's morally objectionable to make kids take a dip in the pool when the temperature is this low. I just keep telling myself it might be warmer in the water. All right, class, it's time for everyone to get in the pool. But I don't want anyone to jump, okay? Oh, it's freezing! It's so cool, Boo! <sighs> it's colder than space! It's like swimming in ice cream. All right, I'm gonna go under. You ready? Yep. Hey! <gasps> huh? I don't feel that cold now that I'm underwater. Well, I guess that kind of explains why I've never seen a fish holding its shoulders and shivering, huh? <gasps> the first one to laugh underwater loses! Yeah, let's go! I made a cool discovery just now. What, Kamaji? I just found out I can talk underwater. What? You can't talk underwater. Yeah, why would you even try? I can too, and I'll prove it to you. Both of you dive underwater with me. Sure. One, two, three, dive! You have to ask the question, was it really worth all this discomfort for you to say three words? We're going to pick up tile pieces now. I threw in a bunch of tiles like this earlier, and I want you all to pick up three pieces each. Think you can get three pieces? Yeah. Well, I'm going to be the first student to get three tiles. Everyone know the drill? And go! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He's using his foot. <laughs> hey, I saw that. Picking them up with your feet is cheating. You're supposed to dive to get them, Hamaji. Mm. He didn't say anything about that. <laughs> hey, Hamaji! Huh? I got a really strange tile, Boo. Really? Show me then. Look, it's round, Boo. <sighs> Don't ask me why, but there's always one student who picks up a chlorine tablet by mistake. I could only manage to pick up one tile now. I got two tile pieces. 
Listen up, everybody. Now we're going to practice swimming with the kickboards. Kickboards are a lot of fun, huh, Tama-chan? I think I'd rather just float around in the pool on a swim rig. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we can talk while we're swimming. Yeah. I'm practicing my backstroke kick like this. Hey, look, uh -huh. I can use the kickboard to tread water. Check it out. If you put the kickboard between your legs like this, then... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> His kickboard flew up in the air. That's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> there are many pupils who try many fun activities, and it's lots of fun. It's hard to believe it's just one hour, but finally the intense swimming lesson comes to an end. Out you get. <laughs> it's cold. Bath towel, bath towel. <gasps> it's so cold. I'm so cold. <sighs> I feel warm. Yeah. Nice and toasty now. No. Uh -huh. I still can't find my bath towel anywhere. I'm cold. Uh. Ah, it's my towel. Oh. It's submerged in the antiseptic solution. It must have been blown in by the wind. Oh. Hey, would you mind, Tama Chan? Mm, sure, I'll help. Just look up, okay? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> no, you're closing your eyes too tightly, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's staying so! I wonder if there's any truth to the rumor that that particular brand works better than all the other ones that are available. <laughs> I'm home! <sighs> Hi, Mom. I'm so tired from swimming. Well done, dear. I think I'm gonna go and take a nap. You had better make sure you're all rested for the children's cartoon special. Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about the cartoons! Maruko! The cartoons are starting. Oh, well, she won't wake up. <gasps> Children's cartoon special. Maruko had not only missed the cartoon special, but also her homework. 